Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. 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 The rumor report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The, the Breakfast Club. Well, a big shout-out to DJ Khaled. He got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Congratulations to him. So Diddy was there, Jay-Z was there, Fat Joe was there to help him uh, get things started. Tiana Taylor, Jeezy, Nori, all of them joined him as he got his star. Here's what he had to say. I want to thank my wife and my two beautiful boys. Asad, you good? Alam, you good? You know, we the biggest, right? I love them so much. Nicole, I appreciate you, you know, not only dealing with me, but just everyday life, taking care of our kids. I'm not a regular type of person. I, I'm, I'm a different type of, I'm, look, there's only one Khaled, that's all I have to say. So, I just wanna say thank you, but I wanna make it one thing super clear. I want my star to represent the light, the love to shine on everybody. You know, God put me on this earth to be a light. You know, the room can be pitch dark, and when I walk in, it's bright. I'll drop one of Clues Bombs for DJ Khaled. Congratulations, Khaled. DJ Khaled. He also has a Jordan brand collaboration I saw that he has coming out. So that looks nice and colorful. Shout out to Chris Smokes. I, I saw Kanye looking disgusted every time Khaled showed him one of the Jordans. <laughs> I was wondering if that's just because of the whole Adidas Jordan thing. I'm sure, but this is like his third or fourth collaboration. So shout out to Khaled, man. What Khaled is doing is amazing. All right, now Britney Spears has said that she's pregnant. She posted on Instagram, I lost so much weight to go on my Maui trip only to gain it back. I thought, geez, what happened to my stomach? My husband said, no, you're food pregnant, silly. So I got a pregnancy test, and, well, I'm having a baby. Four days later, I got a little more food pregnant. It's growing. If two are in there, I might just lose it. I obviously won't be going out as much due to the paps getting their money uh, shot of me like they unfortunately already have. It's hard because when I was pregnant, I had perinatal depression. I have to say it is absolutely horrible. Women didn't talk about it back then. Some people considered it dangerous if a woman complained like that with a baby inside her. But now women talk about it every day. Thank Jesus we don't have to keep that pain a reserved proper secret. This time I will be doing yoga every day spreading lots of joy and love. Now she has two other boys, right? Or one other boy? Uh, yeah, this is just her first child with her. Her She calls him her husband sometimes, but with Sam Asghari. So congratulations to them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, a love and hip hop movie is allegedly in the works. This is an exclusive according to Jasmine Brand. Sources say that the fictional project is in the early stages and a script is currently being created. They're also saying some of the creators of the reality franchise are involved with production of this upcoming film. I saw that headline yesterday. I wonder what that creative is like. Hmm. Well, it's fictional, but then I guess a lot of love and hip hop kind of is also. So maybe it's some. Yeah, I just want to know what the creative is. Behind I mean, the just, scenes, it could could be a great idea. Or I don't yeah, know. how would they start it? How would it? Yeah, I'm curious as well. All right, now Saturday Night Live comedian Molly Shannon has a book out today. Her memoir is called Hello Molly, and she talks about a lot of different things in there. She talked about visiting L.A. in 1987. She had just gotten signed by Gary Coleman's agent, Mark Randall. And she said he was hugely popular back then. He had just left his sitcom. She said she was over the moon. And she went out to dinner with her agent and with Gary Coleman. She said that Coleman was 18 at the time, but very small because he had that kidney disease that limited his growth to four foot eight, but he was extremely flirtatious. She said, we had a great time laughing and joking. And then Gary Coleman asked her if she wanted to see the presidential suite where he was staying. She said once in the room, he asked Shannon to sit on a bed. She said, the possibility of something sexual occurring hadn't even crossed my mind. And I was an innocent virgin still. He was playful at first, tickling me, trying to lie on top of me and smooch me. Then when I pushed him away and stood up, Gary climbed up on the bed and jumped off, using it as a springboard to launch himself to me, kissing me wildly and sticking his little baby hands under my shirt. No my Arnold? Yeah. yeah, Arnold. Yeah. Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman. Mm. Uh, she said that she pushed him away, and she said that uh, she was able to flip him off the bed, but he repeatedly tried to kiss her. Finally, she got up, and he draped his whole body around her calf. So she ended up dragging him across the floor, and she ran across the room and locked herself in the bathroom while, undeterred, he wiggled his fingers underneath the door. She said his relentlessness was unlike anything I've ever experienced. She finally was able to escape the room and told her agent that his client is wild and never heard from the agent again. She, she dragged him by her calf muscle? He was, I guess... Because he he's four foot eight. He couldn't... He just oh, 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 got you, got you, got you, got you. 
Right, so she has a lot of um, interesting stories. It sounds like a great memoir. She's now 57 years old, and she talked about when she was four years old, her mother, younger sister, and cousin all died in a car accident while her father was driving. Mm. After drinking too much at a family celebration, she and another sister survived. And mm. Gary Coleman of... been dead for a long time. I was going to ask, mm-hmm. is Gary yeah. Coleman dead? No, he, yeah, dead. he, been dead he died in 2010. Yeah, he's been okay. dead for a while. Yeah. All right, well, that is your rumor report. All right. Sheesh. Front page news next, what are we talking about? Well, let's talk about the University of Southern California. They have sued some YouTubers over some of their pranks. All right, we'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.